So let's take a look at how to make use of variables in GraphQL. So first thing, go to GraphQL Hub and where you can check out multiple APIs. Choose either one of them and it will open the GraphQL playground in new tab. Now here, just remove the default code and below you will see these query variables. This is where we are going to make use of variables which will be used in right here okay so fourth thing is we are going to write our github query now here i'm going to make use of let's say repo where i have a name for repository express and let's say owner username to be express js okay and i want to fetch let's say id then name from that repository okay now what if i decide to let's say uh, automate this and this okay and i just pass variables instead of fixed repository and ownership name we can do that for but for that let's first name our query as let's say get git repo and here we are going to make it accept arguments so argument will be one for name and one for user owner user okay so here below query variable box you can add your variables let's first start with let's say get github Okay, so this is one variable that should point to, let's say, express. Okay, so this is basically my repository name. Okay, then we have, let's say, owner. Okay, which should point to express GS, which is owner of this express Okay, now it should point you that these are never used in a query. So we are going to use them. So within this get give GitHub repo method, simply use dollar sign, then call for get GitHub. Okay, then use colon, then dollar again, and use string, and then question mark. Same with owner and then use dollar sign string question mark now that your both strings are used okay so you just have to let it refresh okay and another thing is you have to use this get github in your query okay till that point it won't be moving your errors okay once it gets used it should remove itself. okay now you can go ahead and execute it okay so based on the error you can see that you don't have to use dollar sign for string okay once that is removed you will find that your errors are gone you don't have to use dollar sign once you use it for your variables. Now let's run this again and you will find that it returns your query properly. Okay, so you can verify this even without uh, adding variables. Again, run the default and check out the result being the same. Okay, so this was a small intro to how to make use of variables in GraphQL.